If you are already a content creator or you want to start your content creation journey and you are looking for a new PC for under $1,000, well, this video is going to be for you. I will show you a PC build for creators that's around 800 bucks and it's going to deliver amazing performance in video and photo editing software. So if you want to use DaVinci Resolve, Adobe Premiere Pro, Sony Vegas, Photoshop or other softwares, you will get the perfect PC for the price. You will have the links to all of the components down below in the video description. With that being said, let's start. For the CPU, we have the i5 12600K. This 12th gen i5 is still an amazing choice for creators for the price of 230 bucks. Of course, the i5 13600K would be amazing. That's the CPU I currently have on my system and it's great for creators. But the thing is that CPU is about $100 more expensive, which is a big price difference considering this budget. Then for the CPU cooler, we have a $35 Thermal Ride Peerless Assassin CPU cooler. This one is going to be way more than enough for our CPU, the i5 12600K. Then for the motherboard, we have the Astrock C690 Extreme motherboard. This one is 140 bucks and it has all the features for both gamers and creators. It has ALC 1220 audio codec, which is going to be important, which is going to be pretty important in terms of audio quality. Then for the RAM, we have 32 gigs of RAM of DDR4 memory. This is going to be enough at this price point and you can always upgrade down the line if you feel like you need 64 gigs of RAM or more. Then for the storage, we have the MSI Spatium M460 one two terabytes of gen 4 ssd this drive is actually pretty fast for the price of 80 bucks and once again like the memory kit you can always upgrade down the line if you need more storage and for the graphics card i have two options for you the first one being the intel arc a580 this one is my favorite the reason why is because it's amazing for content creation on a budget for 180 dollars and the other option is the rtx 3050 that's going for 200 dollars so 20 dollars more expensive and it's usually worse than the intel arc a580 but if your favorite video editing software is davinci resolve then the 3050 is actually better than the intel arc a580 in that regard so for the most part get the intel arc a580 but if you're going to use davinci resolve for video editing then you may want to consider the rtx 3050 instead also both of these gpus the 3050 and the intel arc a580 are going to be really decent gpus for 1080p gaming so if you want to do gaming on the side 60 plus fps on average in most titles depending on the game and the depending on the settings, then this is a really solid system as well. Especially if you want to run esports titles because you will be able to run them at above 144 FPS on average, taking advantage of 144 Hz monitor. Then for the case, we have the Fantex Eclipse G300A with one fan per installed. And then I do recommend you buying three extra fans in the Thermal Ride 3 fans pack for just $13. So in total for the fans and the case, you're spending about 48 bucks and you're getting amazing airflow and a beautiful case overall. And last but not least, we have the power supply, the MSI Mag A650BN, 600 watt, 80 plus bronze power supply. This one is going to deliver the power that we need for our system. And it's a really good quality power supply for this type of builds. So to recap, this PC is going to be amazing for content creation, especially if you want to upload to YouTube 1080p videos. That's the most ideal situation for this PC, but it also works with higher resolutions with no problem. Now let's talk about pricing. The total price for the PC that I do recommend with the Intel Arc A580 is $830 when I'm recording this video. Maybe when you're watching this, it's a bit more expensive or a bit cheaper. I do recommend you checking the links in the description to see the latest pricing. And then if you decide to go with the RTX 3050, the price is going to be $850. Bucks. If you want to keep the price down to around $800, then I do recommend you downgrading the storage to a 1TB Gen 4 SSD in the Crucial P3 kit. And that's going to bring down the price to about $800. And as I said before, you can always always upgrade the storage down the line if you feel like you need more. And also, if you need me to help you out, because maybe you have a lower budget or a higher one, or perhaps you have a different type of usage, you will have a link as well in the description where you can get my personal PC help. And I ask you a bunch of questions regarding what do you want for your PC, and I will send you the perfect PC build or pro build PC depending on your needs and depending on your budget. Thank you guys for watching, thank you for the support, and I will see you on the next one.